Tonight, live for the biggest sports jackpot in television history, $75,000. From the Honeyman Legion Lanes, Don Ellis meets Bob Wallach. The winner to challenge the king of the hill, Thurm Gibson. You'll also be seeing one of the greatest heavyweight boxing champions of all time roll a ball for his favorite charity. It's Jackpot Bowling, starring Milton Berle, and brought to you by Miracle Mild Philly, the best-selling cigars in the USA, featuring Miracle Mild Philly cheroots. Lick on the draw and about as big as your trigger finger. And by Brunswick, the number one name in bowling. Now, here he is, your host, Milton Burrow. You're hysterical. Thank you. As that, whoa, what an audience. What an audience. This, one, this hysterical reception means only one thing. You're all still drunk from New Year's Eve. <laughs> what a reception. Oh, before we go any further, I want to find out something. How many of you stayed sober on New Year's Eve? Raise your hands, please. One, two, three. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Put down your hand, Charlie. The glass is still in it. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday was New Year's Day. New Year's Day. That's the one day everybody wakes up feeling like Dean Martin feels the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, boy, that Dean Martin. We were at a New Year's Eve party together, and he was so loaded, he couldn't find his way home. <laughs> really? And the party was in his house. <laughs> oh, oh, what a wild night. Everybody showed up. Sinatra was there, and he made three... New Year's resolutions, one to forget about parties, two to forget about girls, and three to forget about the first two. <laughs> oh boy, what a job I had driving home from the party with all those holiday drivers on the road. They're kooky, really. I was, I was zigzagging through the traffic in a Buick, and it was ridiculous, because I started out in the Cadillac. <laughs> Laugh it up, chick. <laughs> No, but it's all over now. It's all uh, uh, the 1960s old, and I'm kind of sorry to see the old year go. It was such a good one in many ways. In 1960, Art Linkletter proved that people are funny, and David Susskind proved that comedians aren't. <laughs> and, uh, oh, you got that one, huh? No individual applauding. Everybody applaud together if you want to applaud. Just don't sit there. Okay. 1961, and as Jack Carr would go, like that. <laughs> yeah, I want to tell you, and in 1960, America made a greater contribution to science than Russia. Russia may have nine new satellites, but we have ten new toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> and all I can say is that I predict that 1961 will be wonderful. So please, do not worry about Russia. Don't worry. They'll never beat us. All they have to do is to steal our plans, and they'll be three years behind us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And you know, you know, now that it's winter, driving can be pretty rough in all this ice and snow, but here's a cheroot smoker who really knows how to get around in the snow. Nothing stops him. Mush. 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 He trapped his furs in the ice and snow. Then to the settlement he would go. And make a trade for his hard-earned loot he trade his spurs for Those Philly cheroots Those Philly cheroots Slick on the draw, it's a real humdinger About as big as your trigger finger A shape that's new and is sure to suit you're really smoking when you smoke a cheroot, a Philly cheroot. Gardner, lasso a pack of Western-style smoking. Slick on the draw, big as your trigger finger. Miracle Mile, Philly cheroots. Yes, sirree. Philly cheroots, five for 28. You try them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first match. And right after it, the greatest heavyweight champion of all time, We'll roll the ball for his favorite charity. And in this first game, Don Ellis will be bowling against Bob Qualick. The winner to challenge our King of the Hill, 
Thurm Gibson for tonight's giant jackpot of $75,000. Gentlemen, the lanes are all yours and good luck. And I'd like to introduce a gentleman who did a, such a great job of the Rose Bowl game today on this channel, my very good friend, Chick Hearn. Let's hear it out there. Chick Hearn. Thank you very much, Norton. And hello, everybody. Happy New Year. A great win for the Huskies, a tough loss for Minnesota, but tonight it's bowling and $5,000 jackpot in our first game. Six strikes in a row wins the jackpot in the regulation nine frames. From Chicago, Illinois, 32-year-old Don Ellis. Don is 5'11", 160. Our PA is off here, and Johnny Clare is our official referee. Come on, let's start it out. Wow. The 8'10 remain. Now, here is 28-year-old Bob Qualick of Detroit, a Polish lad who turned to pro bowling during the 58-59 season. Fine youngster. And a baby, Bob. <laughs> Remind you, both men can get the $5,000 jackpot if both make six consecutive strikes. Don Ellis won the Peterson Classic, a famous tournament, in 1955. Gonna have to mix them. He did. Great action off of the sideboard, and it's one to one. All right, Qualic looking for the double. Member of the ABC Championship team of 1959, a record score, 3,243. Come on with the double, Bob. Too high. Get the Brooklyn. One to one at the end of two. Don Ellis started bowling in 42 and 43. His mother and dad are great bowlers, interested him in the game. His mother is a 170 average bowler in Houston right now. His dad, a 180 average. No, sir. The six pin wouldn't go in the Brooklyn. So it's one to one at the end of two and a half frames. Bob Qualick finished 25th out of 30,000 bowlers in the ABC singles this year. Brooklyn? Yes. There is Tom DeAndre on the left, the uh, star of uh, Dante, where he plays Biff the bartender. He was with his dad. Happy to have him in the crowd. No, he's outside too far. Didn't touch the two pin. These fellas are trying to play lane 32 on which Qualic is bowling inside, and they're trying to play 33 tight. All right, here's Qualic looking for the double. Come on, wind it up, mix it up. Three to one, the 28-year-old Detroiter leads. Don Ellis, best average, 1956 and 57. The St. Louis Masters League, 210 average. And a baby. Now Ellis strikes in the fifth. He cannot get the $5,000 jackpot, but he's hungry for the 1000 bucks and a right to go for 75000 in the second game. Here's Qualic looking for the turkey. Cross it clear over. Came up too high. It's three to two at the end of five. Neither man can get the jackpot. $1,000 now on each pitch. Don Ellis, been in the World Invitational Finals three times, finished 10th, 3rd, and 15th. That looks like it. Don Ellis, the top of the six catches Bob Qualick. This fellow's 172 game average in the BPAA All Star is 201. Cut out that 810. Didn't quite get there. So it's three to three. Seventh frame. Thurm Gibson waiting to meet the winner for $75,000. The five pin, and it's three to three, bottom of the seventh. Bob Qualick, his high series, 815, which is a 271 average. He's had seven 300 games. Never get there, never get there. Too far outside. Bottom of the seventh, no frame, no strike for Qualick, and we go to the eighth, three to three. Here's Ellis on lane 33. His best series, 8-12, a 270 three-game average. Boy, these pins are tough to come by tonight. Thousand bucks riding, and we're still deadlocked in the bottom of the eighth. Second game tonight for $75,000. And he set that one in there. So now... 
after the top of the ninth, Don Ellis must strike or it's all over. He trails four to three. the kind you got to get in jackpot bowling you got to have the lucky ones with the good hits because you can get tapped on the solid hits too all right if Qualic strikes here it's all over if he fails too, we go to sudden death he cuts away and we're in the tenth frame tied at four to four Don Ellis hobbies swimming golf and water skiing has had eight 300 games two of them sanctioned Here it comes. There they go. So now, the bottom of the 10th frame, Bob Qualick must strike to stay alive. It's sudden death right here. $1,000 goes with this pitch. Too high, and that's it. The final score in 10 frames, Ellis 5, Qualick 4, Milton Burr. How about that, ladies? Come over here, boys. That, that's really getting what they deserve. That was a real tight match. Oh, I want to congratulate you on winning the first match. I guess, um, uh, Bobby, this wasn't your night. Uh, may I ask you, uh, what, what went wrong? What would you say went wrong? Uh, I wasn't getting out of the ball quite as good as I hoped to. Well, don't mention hope when you're standing with me. <laughs> You really want the ball, and thank you very much right now. I have a check for you for $250, and Laurie Brady, our lovely Philly beauty, has a box of, uh, uh, oh, stop whistling. That's a box of perfectos for you. And happy smoking to you. Thank you very much, and happy new year. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Pollock. Happy new year. Isn't she attractive? Isn't she, she's really attractive. Miss... Oh, please. Laurie Brady was just voted Miss Antifreeze of 1961. <laughs> How'd you like to have that in your car all winter? <laughs> Let's see you later, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let's see the Japanese make that cheaper. <laughs> well, I'll... I want to congratulate, I want to congratulate you once again on your victory, and here's your check for $1,000. Now, you take it easy for a few minutes, because you're going to challenge our King of the Hill, Thurm Gibson, in the giant jackpot tonight, worth $75,000. Ladies and gentlemen, big hand for Don Ellis. Let's hear it. Thank you very much, Don. Now, here's something, here's something to help you get 1961 started off in a great big way. Brunswick is going to let us in on America's swingingest teenage game. Watch this. Watch it. It's very interesting. These days, popular teenagers all over the country are finding fun and good companionship in America's most wholesome game. It's the new rock and roll. Roll means bowl. All the fellas and gals are out bowling. Rock and rolling means bowling. Bowling means Brunswick. Every guy and gal should know the name. is the name that makes the game. America swinging this teenage game. And Brunswick is the name that makes the game. Oh, America swinging this game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's right. right after, for after school or weekends, a bowling date means a ball. A bowling ball. And for the most fun, bowl Brunswick. The champions do. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to introduce one of the greatest champions America has ever had. The former heavyweight champion of the world, the Manassa Mauler, Jack Dempsey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you look beautiful and handsome. Hi, Jack. Nice to see you, Martin. I want to I wanna welcome you to Jackpot Bowling. You know, I was just thinking, Jack, 35 years ago, if I was this close to you, I would have fainted. I remember for Jack. I want, you, you look wonderful. You are still in great shape. Thank you. I bet you can today even go 15 rounds. No, well, let's face it. Today, I'm happy if I can just watch 15 rounds. <laughs> well, 
uh, you should take it easy, Jack. You should get into uh, something that isn't too rough. You know, get into show business. Maybe you ought to do what I do. No, thanks. I'd rather make mine an honest living. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd answer that, but I remember what you did to Jack Sharkey. <laughs> I'm talking to Jack about you getting into TV. How? Well, I, I'm very glad you asked me, Jack, because when I knew, I heard that you were coming over here, I hit on a great idea for you. I, I want to do a film series based on your life. A film series? A film series. Of course, you know what a film series is. Sure. It's television's way of making the same mistake twice. <laughs> No, it, it's going to be a great series. Yeah. Jack Dempsey's life, I can just see it now. Jack Dempsey's a boy. Jack Dempsey's a man. Jack Dempsey is a, a great fighter. Who's going to star in this? Me. What's the bit? What's the bit? Milton, you're never a fighter. You know how to fight. I don't know how to fight. I'm not in condition. You're kidding? I'm in great condition. I take a special vitamin pill that keeps me in sensational condition. It contains thiamine, nicene, insulin, cod liver oil, shock oil, mineral oil, and we jam. Uh, we germ, uh, germ, uh, gluten, iron, calcium, potash, pepsin, quinine, sodium. Do you have any with you? What'd you say? Do you have any with you? Have one? I yeah. can't even lift one. It weighs 27 pounds. <laughs> Look. Look, Jack. You just leave it to me. I'll write up the outline for the series, and I'll send it to you. Is that okay? Okay, man. All right, now look, Jack, you know the reason that we asked you, invited you for the show. That's You've seen your show, your lovely wife, Diane, has seen the show, too, and your grandchildren have seen the show. Uh, the idea is to roll the ball for your favorite charity. You get one shot, one chance at a ball, and you get $500. For every pin that you knock down, you get $50 extra, okay? Now, it's for your favorite charity. What's your favorite charity? The Damon Runyon Fund. The Damon Runyon Fund. Well, that's wonderful, and you've done a lot of great work for that. Now, let's go out here and pick out a ball. You want to take off your sure, coat? Sure, it'll be a pleasure. <laughs> you remember Tunney? I certainly do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you select a good ball, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Jack Dempsey, the one and only, uh, bowling a ball for his favorite charity, the Damon Runyon Fund. Right on, over there, over there, over there, Jack. That's it. Right. Oh, dude, yeah. Get in there, give me that. That's pretty good. That's her. That's the one. Seven. Seven, right. Seven pins you knock down. That's uh, $50 a pin. That's $350 extra added to the $500, which we originally gave you. That makes a total of $850 for your favorite charity, the Damon Runyon Fund. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a box of Philly cheroots because I know you're a great smoker. You. And our best wishes to you and your very wonderful wife and the rest of the family for marvelous New Year's. And thanks for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Dempsey. Thank you. God bless you. Wonderful. Well, in about... In about 30 seconds, we're going to start our giant jackpot match for $75,000. But first, I've got to step over to the cigar counter to see if Chick Hearn is minding the store. Will you excuse me a moment? Please. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not only minding the store, Milton, I'm selling a lot of good-looking Phillies Panatellas. Slim, trim, modern. The best-selling Panatellas in the USA. Oh, it figures, Chick, because Miracle Mile Phillies Panatellas not only look great, they taste great. And they're mild enough for all smokers to enjoy. For your convenience, they're available both individually and in five packs. Try them. Five for 39. Best selling, best smoking Panatellas in the USA. You think the Phillies people made them just for you. And you know what? They did. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chick Hearn speaking, and now we're ready for our $75,000 jackpot game. The PA is off, our referee is Johnny Claris, and here is, from Detroit, Michigan, King of the Hill, Thurm Gibson. Forty-three years old, 5'10", 220. His wife is Eloise, Barbara Kay, and Patricia are the daughters. And our baby! All right, here's Don Ellis, 32 years old, 160 pounds, who already picked up a thousand bucks tonight. Mix them. <laughs> Thurm Gibson, 10-year ABC tournament average, 200. Michigan All-Events Titleist, three times. Elks National All-Events Titleist, three times. Great bowler. Watch him push that ball out to the right. They say that's a cardinal sin in bowling. He says it clears it from his hip. Ooh, it's too high. He got away with it. 
the kind you gotta get. Gibby's got a double. Let's pull for Ellis to get one. Both of these fellas could get the 75,000 bucks. Come on, Don, from Chicago. <laughs> Two to two. Tremendous pressure. This is more money than... except one or two instances any Major League Baseball player makes for a full year's work. Erm Gibson, BPA, national doubles titleist twice with George Young. Come on, Gibby. Three in a row. Don Ellis, Texas match game champion, 1955. Three to two. Ellis for the turkey. Hey! <laughs> Halfway home. Boy, would this be a wonderful thing to win for both of these men? Thurm Gibson, all-time record triplicate Ebo, three consecutive games, 268, 268, 268. Hurry up, hurry up! <laughs> Gibby's got four. Ellis looking for four. This fella's had eight 300 games. Only 32 years old. Never get there. Outside too far. And Ellis blows his chance for the jackpot. Gibson look for, looking for his fifth in a row. has won many singles titles, including the tough-to-get Peterson title in 1945. Five in a row. One more, ladies and gentlemen, for $75,000. Don Ellis realizing if Gibby should stumble, he could win the game on total strikes. Here's Don Ellis, whose wife, Jean, and daughters are looking on in Detroit. He's outside again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for all of us to sit back and say a little prayer for a great bowler, Thurm Gibson, 5'10", 220, 43 years old of Detroit, Michigan. This ball is worth $75,000. I just say to these three, these two, three, <laughs> these two very wonderful men, I want to, I want to just express this. We've been waiting a week. Hold it, folks, just a moment. I know everybody's excited, and no more excited than I am, but <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> pale. You look like you got a sun pale. <laughs> I'd take one for 75000 May I tell you, Don, it's a great pleasure to have you on our show. We hope that you'll be on our show in the future again. We have a $250 check for you waiting. I, I, great. I didn't even grab it. <laughs> and uh, let's wish Don Ellis a happy, happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. He did a great job. And we have some fillings for you, too. Thank you. Now, in 30 seconds, in 30 seconds, I'll be back to talk with you, and Laurie Brady uh, will be back to give you your Phillies blunts. And believe me, those blunts really are going to bring you a whole lot of smoking pleasure. I isn't that right, Chick? For my man here, tell him. Yes, sir, friends, right here, I've got a lot of pleasure for every smoker. These are Miracle Mild Phillies blunts and a real fine cigar, Milton. <laughs> Great cigar, Chick. Full-size Phillies blunts. Big, the way that I like them. Big in mildness, too. Men, for your convenience, Phillies blunts are available both individually and in five packs. Best-selling, best-smoking blunts in the USA. 
Miracle Mile Phillies Blunts, five for 39. You try them. You'll think the Phillies people made them just for you. And you know what? They did. Okay. Thank you. These Phillies points are really terrific. Thanks for mining the store. Yeah. Once again, I'd like to congratulate this great champion, Thurm Gibson, and I know your wife. What's her name? Jean? Eloise. Eloise, and the kids are in Daughter Detroit. Barbara and Patricia. Watch. Well, I want to tell you, it's really wonderful. And uh, now, next week, our giant jackpot goes back to $25,000, and you're still the king of the hill. And I just want to tell you something. I have a check here for... Uh, this is not the check. <laughs> I got the check for you for 75. I wouldn't carry it around. Before I give you a check, I'd like to ask you what uh, I've asked so many Kings of the Hill so far, if, you, if you're able to do it. <laughs> could, you, could you give our viewers uh, uh, a tip on uh, a better bowling? Would you? I'll try to give them a simple little... Yeah, I think it's you, because you're out of breath now. You want, you want to get a... You want, no, the, you, you, the ball over here? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Thurm Gibson... Our new king of the hill who just won the $75,000 jackpot. I think well, something would help almost tell any bowler, a low average or high average bowler, would try to find a position on, on approach where they, they find their strike zone, in other words, the one-three pocket, and then try to get, stand in that same spot each time and try to get a comfortable position here, maybe just a little wiggle, not like I do it, but just get one of your own. <laughs> should only be like you do it, that's all. <laughs> to get a groove swing similar to the same way you do in golf yeah same idea yeah and then uh, take you know, that groove and swing it the right swing way. it the same way May I, time. Can, would, you, would you show way. me how would you give me a little clinic here sure <laughs> <laughs> the bowling girl yeah, that's right. You put your fingers in here. Don't turn. Don't get okay, in front I'm of me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we haven't got time. We haven't got time. I have a check for you for $75,000 right after the show. And with it, a box of... Get out of here. <laughs> with it, a box of Phillies Blunts. Lori, here's your Phillies Blunts. And good luck, King of the Hill, for next week again, ladies and gentlemen, the new champion, $75,000 winner, Thurm Gibson. What a night. Well, that about... Thank you. That about wraps it up. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, Ken Baylor will meet Jim St. John in the first game. The winner to challenge our King of the Hill in the second match, Thurm Gibson, for a new giant jackpot starting again at $25,000. And I would like to wish each and every one of you a very, very happy, healthy, and most fortunate New Year. And for those who are seeing this show in color, sober up because we're on in black and white. <laughs> good night and good smoking. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Jackpot Bowling, starring Milton Burrow, has been brought to you by Brunswick, the leader in recreation, education, health, and defense. And by Philly's Perfecto. Extra size, rich taste. Phillies, America's number one cigar. From the Hollywood Legion lanes, this is Chick Hearn speaking. Technical director tonight was Joe Kahn. Audio by Bob Jensen.